Operation. The Broken Ark, home to ferocious wildlife, and certainly not a place where a new player would want to go without a tech transmitter. Beyond the radiated lands and toxic ambiance, it's a most hostile land to vacate at one's notice. You're right, kids, it's Ross Clark. And yeah, you've seen the title. You've got Ross Clark on the way to get off operation. But I'm telling you guys, there are so many people that do not know how to get off operation. On my server in particular, I've had so many people ask the question. And with new players coming and going all the time, it felt like a just cause video for you on foot, naked and afraid new players that would help you get off this rough map. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and let's get to it. So Aberration does indeed have obelisks, however, they are protected at daytime by hot, 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 hot weather that you're gonna struggle to get through to transfer out. Because if you try, you might find that this happens. And even if you wait until the night time, by some miracle you make it to the obelisk, you've still got to contend with the ferocious reapers popping out at a moment's notice, ready to tear your face off. So this is your only way off, except for a tech transmitter. Loot crates. Loot crates, they spawn all over Aberration in a similar way that drops do on all the other maps. And lucky for you, they spawn in a cycle that is quite easy to learn. So I'm gonna teach you a cycle that I used to use. Now, there's three different areas. There's the blue zone. You don't wanna be going there for your drops. You're gonna have a bit of a nightmare getting any drops in the blue zone starting out. It seems silly to even suggest going to the red zone. So despite the map telling you that portal is the easiest place to spawn don't start there for this drop run cycle so you can find a nice long list of drop spawn locations you need to spawn at fertile lake one at which point you'll be in this area and what you're looking for guys you see that metal structure ahead of me we're going to use that as our starting point and then opposite it is a natural path that you're gonna follow. This is your yellow brick road. Just stay on this path. Don't divert off it until I say. It's pretty straightforward. Whip a orbit cam. And as you're moving forward, just keep an eye to your left. And then your first drop may appear here. And then the next drop will certainly appear down here. If you don't know how to transfer off, by the way, don't grab the items out. Just simply access it and transfer out as you would any up. Moving on, there'll be a third little drop to the left, which should be another drop location. And now we're going to follow this path onwards. You may notice a drop spawn up there to the top left. Ignore that for now. I'll show you how to get there on foot. And right, now we've reached the first point where we can go either left or right for now. We're gonna bear right. And if you follow it to this plateau, you'll see another drop location. Bend a right from there. What we're looking for is a vine to get us down to a couple more drop locations. So we'll take this down, don't worry. You don't need any tools to use a vine. And then You'll find one just off to the right here in this cave. 
and if we bend the left you will find one just round here so rewinding back to that first point where I said to go left or right this time now go left again stick on this path the yellow brick road and you're looking for a bit of water like this and then all you've got to do is follow this stream all the way down to the bottom and you'll find another drop location okay rewind back to where we started following the stream down and this time we're going to cross the stream and stay on that path going up and then we're going to take it up the hill and just keep following this path all the way to the top until we get to the next intersection where you can bear left or bear right. In this case, we're gonna bend left first, just so I can show you this drop location. And you can get up, there we go. And then you'll find a drop on the other side of the vines, which you can simply ride to your drop. Back at the intersection where we move left or right, flip a right now. And follow this path all the way to the end. There's only one way you can go. And there we go. We've got a drop. And you can see one off to the left as well. If you haven't figured out by now, I've spawned all of these in myself, but these are the drop locations. So don't worry about that. So you can keep following this round now, and there's a few locations where you might find one. So you just need to jump up here. And then this is the last of these intersections. So you can turn right and find a drop here. And if you keep going, and swing a left, you will find a drop a bit further on. Back to that last intersection, we're gonna turn left now, and you'll find a drop here at this metal structure. And if you keep going on, you should find another couple of drop locations. Now, if you didn't find a drop a way out there, there's one last alternative I've got for you guys. And that is right at the very start, instead of turning left along the yellow brick road at the metal structure, follow through, follow through the metal structure and work yourself all the way up the hill to this giant metal thing, I don't know, where there is another drop location. And then from there, do you remember that one I said right at the start that I tell you how to get to? All you need to do is parachute over to it from there. There is also another location just to the left here that you also need to parachute to do. And there we go, guys. I hope this helps. I hope I haven't done this video in vain for you to find at least one drop to get yourself the hell off aberration. My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, peace out.